Hello my friends, I'm Clover and today's puzzle is a little bit of a special treat. So typically because of the way our rotation works on the gas channel, I end up solving pretty much exclusively Philip puzzles on video. But Philip and Bill actually swapped days this cycle and so I'm going to be solving a Bill Murphy puzzle today with you. So this puzzle is called Sedona and it was originally puzzled Pub <laughs> puzzled, published by Bill in the Gas Channel on July 20th, 2024. So we have normal Sudoku rules. So we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 three three region. And then there are two variants. One of them is Little Killer, so that's those arrow clues outside of the grid, which tell you that the digits along the marked diagonal, sum to the total indicated by the clue. So for instance, we have a nine here, kind of above the top right of the grid, and that tells us that these two digits have to sum to nine. Or this 34 tells us that these five digits together have to sum to 34. Then finally, there are also some palindrome lines, and the rule for those is that digits along a gray line have to form a palindrome. A palindrome is just a sequence of digits that's the same forwards and backwards. So this has to be the same as this, these two digits have to be the same, and so on. These two digits are the same, these two are the same, etc, etc. All right, let's give it a try. So let's fill in some of our easy digits on our palindromes first. So here, 2 from the end is a 5. Here, the last digit on this palindrome is a 2. The last digit on this palindrome is an 8. These 4s are right in the middle, so I can't actually use them for anything. This 4, though, gets repeated right here. Now if we look at some of the smaller little killer clues, this 9, 4 plus what is 9, that has to be a 5, which gives me a repeated 5 right here. 5 plus what is 9, this is going to have to be a 4, which gives me a repeated 4 right here. 2 plus what is 8, that will be a 6, and so that will also be a 6. And 8 plus what is 14, that will be a 6, and so will that. So the next most restricted clue from the looks is going to be this 14 here, because 14 is a pretty small sum to make out of five digits. I already have a 2, a 4, and a 5. That's a total of 13. Or <laughs> that's a total of 11. So I need three more. So I'm going to need a 1 and a 2 to make a sum of three. So the 1 has to go there, because that can't be the 2. And then I'm going to place a 2 right there. Okay, so to make 34, I have a 4, 5, and 8. That's already a total of 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 8 is 17. So 34 minus 17 is 17, so I need 8 plus 9 to make a 17 here. So that will be an 8, and that will be a 9. 5 plus 6 plus 8 is 19, so I need to make a total sum of 4 more in order to total 23. So how do I make 4? There are two ways to do it. I could either do 1 plus 3 or 2 plus 2. But this definitely can't be 2 plus 2 because this cell cannot contain a 2. So this is going to be a 1, 3 pair. And over here, 28, I already have 2 plus 4 plus 6, which is 12. I need 16 more, which can only be 8 plus 8 or 7 plus 9. 8 plus 8 is out because I have an 8 that eliminates that option from this cell. So this is going to be a 7-9 pair, and then I can use my palindromes briefly. I know that this digit gets repeated here, so that will also be a 1 or a 3, but because of the one I placed earlier, I now know that that's a 3. And this digit gets repeated here, it'll be a 7 or 9. There's a 9 in the column already, so that will be a 7, and that will be a 9. Do I have any more little killer clues? No, I'm down to just palindromes, so I just have to sort out these remaining palindromes. So let's see what we can do. So I see a little opportunity to do some Sudoku. So I have four fours all looking into box one. So this is going to be a four. And I have three fives that are all looking into box nine. So I have those fives there and I have a five here. So that will have to be a five. Okay, and now I'm gonna have a five in one of those two cells also by Sudoku. But the 5 can't go there because then it would have to get repeated here and it would duplicate this 5. So I have a 5 right there. Now, 
I need to place a 4 over here somewhere, and the 4 goes there, and I need to place a 5 in region 1. There are two 5s here and here that see these cells, so this is actually going to be a hidden 5 in region 1. And that's kind of interesting, and so is this actually, because I can repeat that 5 there on the palindrome. And I can also repeat this 4 here on the palindrome. Now, does that give me anything more? It does, because I have this 5 here, and then these 5s here, all looking into region 2, and that places a 5 in this cell. So let's start looking at regions 2 and 8, because these are the homes to the end digits on, um, on some of these palindromes, these ones and these ones. So in region 8, we need 2, 3, 1, and 7. So that's not 1 or 2, that's not going to be a 2, that's not a 1 or a 3. And this is not a 7. So we know that the end digit on this palindrome is either a 3 or a 7. Not quite restricted yet, but I think that's enough to go ahead and try for the symmetrical deduction. So this will be 3, 7, 8, 9 to finish this region. I can't place 8 in these cells because there is an 8 below. Ah, now I see that I have a 379 triple, which does place a 1 in that cell. That's kind of interesting. And this can't be a 9 or a 7 because those exist in the column already. And that is all I get out of there, I think. So this cell, oh, that also can't be a 9. So that's a 3-7 pair. That will be a 9. I can eliminate 9 from the rest of the region. And so this will also be a 3 or a 7. That's shaping up to be pretty interesting. So now my final digit in the column is going to be a 6. And now I have this beautiful 3, 7 pair here, and I have another one here. So let's use those. The digits I still need in this row are 1 and 6. They'll go there and there. The digits I still need in this row are going to be 6 and 9, and they'll go here and here. And I know those go in that order. To finish this region, I need 2, 3, and 7. So that means that this digit is either 2, 3, or 7 because it has its match on the palindrome over here. But there's already a 3 and a 7 in the region, so that'll be a 2. Now I have 2, 3, and 7 here in some unknown order. So these will be 1 and 9, and I do know the order of those. And then these will be 3 and 7, and I also know the order of those. Let's look vertically here. So I need to place an 8 and a 9 to finish the column. So this will also be either an 8 or a 9 because of the palindrome. And I don't know which one of those I'm looking at yet. So this will be 1, 8, and 9. And that, of course, can't be a 9. I have a 2 here already, so that'll be a 3. Those will be 7s. And, oh, there is already a 9 in the region, so that'll be an 8. I'm still waking up this morning. So that will now be a 2. And I have a 3 and 8 in this column, making this a 7. So these will be 3s. And this will now be an 8. To finish this region, I still need a 3. To finish this column, I still need a 9. In this row, I need a 1 and a 9. Okay, those go like that. Here, I need a 3 and a 7. I need a 1 to finish this vertical. And here, I still need a 3-7 pair, which resolve immediately to finish that row. So let's finish off with just some classic Sudoku. So we have 1s looking into this region. So there's a hidden 1 there. Now I need a 2, a 6, and an 8. There's a hidden 8 right there. And this is going to be a 2, 6 pair. These digits will be 2, 6, and 9. That will have to be my 6 because there's a 2 and 9 in that column already. There is a 9 and a 2 and an 8. And that is how you solve Bill Murphy's Sedona. Hope you enjoyed that one. I definitely did. It was a nice little change of pace to get to do a Bill Murphy puzzle first thing in the morning. And if you want to solve it yourself, the link to this puzzle is in the description below this video. I'll catch you next time.